Chancellor, December is such a festive period. For the last three years, I've been struggling to get the registrar to agree that the most appropriate dress code for me at the December graduation is Father Christmas. <laughs> but as you can see, she steadfastly refused. Chancellor, Archbishop, Dr. Tabum Khorba, Chairperson of Council, Ms. Yasmin Forbes, members of the senior management, including the Registrar, uh, the Executive Director, HR, and the Deans of Faculties, academic and professional staff, Ms. Uh, Diana Yach, Chair of the Mauer Berger Foundation, my predecessor, Professor Brian O'Connell, and it's always such a pleasure, Professor O'Connell, to welcome you back to the university. And we are indeed touched that you continue to retain an interest in the affairs of the university. Welcome back. <clears throat> Recipients of special awards, the Student Representative Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, our graduates of 2018. Good morning and welcome to the final graduation ceremony of 2018 at UWC. It is a wonderful day for all of us at UWC because this is why my colleagues and I are here, to see you finish your journey as university students. It is also, I believe, and I know, a wonderful few days for our Chancellor, starting with a very important event in the Mahoba household today, which is his wedding anniversary. <clears throat> On behalf of the UWC community, Chancellor, our very warm congratulations to you and Ms. Mahoba. Tomorrow, our Chancellor will be celebrating his 58th birthday. We wish you a very happy and blessed birthday for tomorrow. Please, audience, join me in singing happy birthday to the Chancellor, <laughs> led by Uviwe. Yeah. 
to you. <laughs> we appreciate that on this very significant day for the Archbishop, that he still honors us with his presence. Regrettably, you will not be joining us this afternoon, Chancellor, but I will have a word with the Registrar because she always denies us your presence by arranging this ceremony either on your wedding anniversary or on your birthday. <laughs> Graduates, throughout the year, I attend many events, launches, and conferences, both nationally and internationally. But nothing, absolutely nothing compares to our graduation ceremony at UWC. First, firstly, it is because your parents and your loved ones are so filled with joy and pride and they have no hesitation in showing it. Secondly, graduation is about celebrating the successful completion of your academic endeavors that has meant many years of hard work, commitment, and dedication. Being here today means that you have made the right and the best choices about your future. So to all of our graduates, congratulations and well done. We are very proud of you. To the parents, the guardians, and the loved ones here, our deep appreciation for standing by and supporting our students. We will not know of the many extreme sacrifices that you have had to make to ensure that this graduation happens. We thank you for supporting our students and we offer you our congratulations. We salute you and please know that your joy is our joy. Incidentally, Judge Nathan Erasmus sitting here in front, a member of the University Council, a judge of the Cape High Court, and a UWC alumnus. It appears, Judge, that today, as of today, you will have a new doctor in the house. Congratulations on your son Aiden, Aiden's doctorate in philosophy. Please ensure, Judge, that you address him appropriately from now on. <laughs> he is Dr. Aiden. Sometimes, however, tragic events can cast the shadow over the most joyous celebrations. And today is one of these days. So even as we look to your bright future, we must take a moment to pause and remember the students who will never sit in this main wall as you do. Just recently, a few weeks ago, three of our students tragically lost their lives. And Chancellor, it is fitting that we pause for a moment to reflect on the unfulfilled promise of these three young lives. I ask the audience, to please stand for a moment of silence for these three young lives. Thank you. As a university community, we are very proud of the number of students who have gathered in this hall throughout 2018 to celebrate the successful completion of their studies. In case you might not know, this is our third graduation ceremony uh, taking place at UWC. Over the two ceremonies that we will be having today, we will be awarding 22 PhDs, 
75 master students, six honors degrees, 484 bachelor degrees, 55 diplomas, and 212 certificates. This means that for 2018, including today's two ceremonies, we have awarded over 3,000 degrees, diplomas, and certificates. That is, that is our small contribution to the development of the country that we all love. These statistics, however, will never tell us, will never be able to give life to the individual challenges that you have had to overcome during your years of study. Neither can it give us a clue about the hard decisions and the difficult choices with which you have been confronted. As you leave here today, some of you to start community service, others to enter the world of work, know that there will be more challenges ahead. It is during these difficult times that I want you to remember the goals that you set for yourself and the future that you have envisioned for yourself. I urge you to use those goals to empower you in order to make good decisions. Because bad choices will inevitably lead you further away from your goals and your dreams for the future. The Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist Viktor Frankl, who was a Holocaust survivor, wrote a short but very significant book called The Man's Search for Meaning. In this book, he reflects on his various experiences being in death camps, including Auschwitz. And I want to leave you with one of the following quotes from his book. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way, choice. Today we will be honoring three individuals who have chosen their own way. If you look at their lives, you will find excellent examples of ordinary people who became extraordinary through the positive decisions and the positive choices that they have made. This morning, we will bestow the annual Jakes Herbal Award for Public Health on the Honorable Minister of Health of Ethiopia, Dr. Amir Aman Hagos. One of the choices that the minister made was to travel to South Africa to study at UWC for a master's degree in public health. That assisted him greatly in his career decisions and contributed to wanting to make a contribution to Ethiopia and its people. In May of this year, Dr. Hagos was appointed Minister of Health in Ethiopia. This afternoon, we will confer an honorary doctorate on the late Dr. Zola Skweia, a former South African government minister and a former UWC staff member. Dr. Skweia's decision to commit his life to uplift his fellow South Africans and bring an end to apartheid led him to contribute significantly to the birth of the new South Africa. The third person we will honor today with a gold medal for commitment to service is Mr. Ibrahim Roder, who has spent the majority of his life building social cohesion within the Muslim community in the Western Cape. Through his decision to serve people, Mr. Roder has made a significant contribution to the lives of ordinary people. I hope that as you have listened to these three stories of these remarkable individuals, you have you will have noticed my frequent use of the word choice because a set of choices informed the life paths of Dr. Hagos, Dr. Squeia, and Mr. Roda. So too 
it will be for each of you. Graduation ceremonies are usually times when we share our major achievements for the year with our parent community and with our graduates. However, today is an exception. We have a particularly long ceremony and I will not attempt to list all of UWC achievements in 2018. Let me, however, assure our parent community and let me assure our graduates that UWC is growing from strength to strength. Let me also once again thank our, my predecessor for the wonderful foundation he has laid in ensuring that UWC can compete with the best out there. To the graduates of 2018, follow Viktor Frankl's advice by practicing the last of human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Trust yourself enough to make the right choices as you leave here. We are proud of your achievements. When you came through the doors of the main hall earlier today, you came in as students. You will leave as alumni of the University of the Western Cape. We wish you great success in all your future endeavors. Be proud ambassadors of UWC, because remember, I am UWC, you are UWC, together we are UWC. Thank you. I think Uviwe will lead us uh, or will deliver an item in song.
be there's a God above And all I ever learn from love Is how to share with someone who outdrew you It's not a cry you can hear at night It's not somebody who's in the light It's a cold and it's a broken heart Chancellor, the candidate Dr. Amir Amon Hachos will now be introduced to you for the annual Drake's Herbal Award in Public Health. I invite Diana Yach from the Mauerwerther Foundation to read the citation. Good morning, everyone. It's a great privilege for me to be with you on this very special day. When Dr. Amir Aman Hagos registered for a Master of Public Health in the University of the Western Cape School of Public Health in 2011, he was a 25-year-old hospital director in one of the most worst performing and poorly resourced hospitals in a remote part of Ethiopia, which he was in the process of transforming into a model hospital for the rest of the country through introducing pioneer governance and accountability systems, mobilizing community and promoting patient-centered care and primary health care. He says of his studies at UWC, the experience made me rethink everything. Through his studies and the research he did for a thesis on how to retain community impact, community health workers, Dr. Hargos recognized he could have a far greater impact on the health of all Ethiopians than he was achieving as a hospital director. He requested a transfer to the Ministry of Health's Human Resources Department and in short order, rose from Director of the Human Resources Development to Director General of Planning, Policy and Finance, State Deputy Minister, and then to Minister of Health of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia in May 2018. What an amazing trajectory of a career. Under his leadership, the health sector has seen many significant successes, particularly in the area of maternal and child health and human resource development, the latter his area of specialization at UWC. The number of medical schools increased from 13 to 32. The enrollment of medical students grew from less than 1,000 to 3,100 per annum, and an additional 9,000 health extension workers were employed throughout the country. The Ethiopia Health Extension Program is an internationally recognized, innovative, homegrown, culturally and linguistically competent health service delivery platform. But it isn't only these measurable successes which have led Dr. to Dr. Mir's national and international recognition. He has also advocated public service 
and volunteerism and greatly increased the visibility of multiple youth and community-led initiatives that care for the weak and marginalized in the society, often leading by personal example. Internationally, Dr. Amir serves as co-chair of the World Health Organization's Transforming International Health Partnership for UHC 2030, which is dedicated to building a partnership to strengthening health systems. And is, he is also a member, when he has time, of numerous related committees. He's also board chair of CDC Africa and a board member of the Gavi Vaccine Alliance. Dr. Amir is an inspiration to the youth in his country. His work demonstrates that through education and commitment to public service, youth can be a powerful force in the transformation of their countries. And so UWC and the School of Public Health are enormously proud not only to be associated with such an inspirational and recognized visionary and leader in health systems development in Africa, but to indeed feel that all of us here at UWC have made a small contribution to his vision and leadership. It is a great privilege for UWC and for the Moorberger Foundation Fund to bestow the 2018 Jake Skirwell Award on the Honorable Minister of Health of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and UWC alumni in the School of Public Health, Dr. Amir Aman Hagos. Chancellor, I request you to confer the annual Jake's Herval Award in Public Health on Dr. Amir Amon Hajos, the Minister of Health, Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, for his unwavering work in transformation in the health sector in Ethiopia. The award will be handed over by Mr. Jafford Mann, who is the nephew of Jake's Herval. Dr. Amir Hajos will now address the congregation. Thank you. Good morning. I'm noticing a few surprise faces because of my young look. Uh, I might be the youngest minister of health in Africa, and I can tell you two reasons for that. The first as and Ethiopia is the second largest populous country in Africa with a population of 100 plus million. 78%, 78 million people are aged less than 35 years. So these youngsters need a voice and I am the voice of these youngsters because I deserve one. And second, Ethiopia, we are following our own calendar. If you, right now in Ethiopia, we are in 2011. So all Ethiopians are always seven years or eight years younger than the rest of the world. <laughs> so I invite you all to come to Ethiopia to become seven or eight years younger than your age and enjoy the moment in Ethiopia. <laughs> Honorable Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Member of Council, Deans, Registrars, Graduates and Graduate Families, Academics, Ladies and Gentlemen. All protocol observed. Thank you for inviting me to give a commencement address to this graduating class. Graduating class, first and foremost, I want to congratulate your family and beloved one for their sacrifice, you for your perseverance, your teacher for their dedication to teach and mold you, and the people of your country for giving you the opportunity to become a productive member of society. Let us give all a clap hand to whom I just mentioned. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, 
For me, being among you to give a commencement speech is so special. Because just a few years back, I was also a graduate student working on my master's degree in public health here at UWC. Similar to my experience, I am confident that your experience here at the University of Western Cape has been an inspiration for you to engage in public services. I must say, I am also humbled and honored, at the same time delighted to be in your midst receive of Jax Herwell Award, which honors the former rector and vice chancellor of the University of Western Cape, Professor Jax Herwell. Professor Herwell was a visionary leader who went to join President Nelson Mandela as a director general in his cabinet office and later to lead Mandela's foundation. My understanding is that as a director general of President Mandela, he was the most loyal and trusted advisor and the shared value of personality, integrity, and similarly their life ambition was to serve their community, not to themselves. For me, getting into a public health professional was a calling, rather a run in their mills of career to make a living. It was after having attained a degree in medicine that I decided to pursue a master's degree in public health here at UWC because I committed myself to engage in public service and decided to become a public servant. I have never regret this decision. Actually, it has been very fulfilling. Dear graduating class, in your journey to attain a higher education at UWC, similar as Mandela said, Dewe Limilambo in Nama Gama. I hope my pronunciation was correct. You have traveled and in the process gained much experience by crossing famous rivers. Hopefully, your experience at UWC has helped you to become a learning public servant rather than a learned now it all bureaucrat. Your graduating today doesn't mean that you are done with all your learning. Therefore, I encourage you to become a lifelong learner, humble and helpful public servant. Remember, your achievement as health science professional and our profession will be worthwhile if it's judged by how many lives you touched rather than how much money you made in your lifetime. After all, you are not going to take with you. Remember, also with all its ups and downs, as the expression goes, life is a journey, not a destination. Therefore, I encourage you to enjoy and learn from a journey as a public health servant just focused on the end result. And also remember, the public service requires you to be a service to others, meaning servant to your community. As Mahatam Gandhi once said, a customer is the most important visitor in our premises. He is not dependent on us, we are dependent on him. He is not an interruption to our work, he is a purpose of it. He is not an outsider in our business, he is part of it. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so. Therefore, remember that you are privileged to be given an opportunity to serve, which is a higher call. Finally, whenever I give a commencement speech to health professionals and graduates in my country, Ethiopia, as per all tradition, culture, we call it mamarak, which means to extend one's blessing. So please allow me to extend my best wishes and blessing to the new graduates. May your mind be sharp and mindful to understand and overcome the complexity of life challenges ahead of you. May your heart be open and compassionate towards other trials and tribulations. May your action be empathic and uplifting towards others and participate in celebrating their dreams and achievements. May your hand be agile to perform the most complex tasks in the process of taking care of others. May your public service bring you about joy, fulfillment, and meaning to yours and other people's life. And finally, may your God bless you to live long enough to comb gray hair. Thank you, and I wish all my best in your future endeavor as you embark on your journey and becoming respectful and a compassionate public health professional and public service servant. Congratulations. Nkwanda Salachu in our native language. Thank you.